When I speak to people on my revitalization calls or people ask for help when it comes to their health to get their nutrition on point and to really build the foundations of their body because they know their body is their business and without a sustainable body there is no such thing as a sustainable or scalable business. One of the things that people say to me and it jumps out to me a lot is that I can't handle carbohydrates. And that tells me something is going on a little bit deeper than we actually think. The first thing just on the surface of it is that maybe they're just eating the wrong types of carbohydrates and they've got a little bit of non-celiac gluten sensitivity going on. There's some inflammation going on in there and they've been eating really highly processed carbohydrates. Or they've been very low carb for a while, then had carbohydrates, their glycogen stores are very, very depleted in their muscles. Their energy is low, their water retention in their muscles is actually very low. They've looked at the scales and noticed that as soon as they have carbohydrates, a couple of meals, there's actually a massive increase on the scales. One of the reasons for this is that for every one gram of carbohydrates in glycogen that gets pulled into the muscles, where your body can effectively and efficiently use it for energy, there's about three or four grams of water pulled in in a healthy body. Therefore, the scale is going to go up, then it's going to flatten out, then it's going to drop again. Provided you're in a little bit of a caloric deficit, your body is healthy, and you're looking to drop weight. This is also one of the reasons when people go on a low carbohydrate diet, usually first off, there's a big drop, and then it evens itself out. And people get disheartened because they don't have that big drop every single week. However, there's usually something else going on. In the society that we live in, and the amount of entrepreneurs that I work with, there is usually some issues going on in the gut. Whether that is uh, candida overgrowth, whether it is low stomach acid, whether it is some sort of inflammation causing autoimmune issues or just causing some digestive issues, some bloat. And that is usually a problem. One of the signals that throws it out to me is when people say they cannot stomach carbohydrates. Because... If there is something like a candida overgrowth, which is essentially a yeast, people are getting more regular urinary yeah, UTIs, urinary tract infections, and thrush and things like that, they're also going to feel pretty tired and fatigued. Now, candida doesn't necessarily cause fatigue in itself. However, it has been known to have an overgrowth of candida in your gut where 70% of the immune system is located in or around, can cause nutrient deficiencies. Low B6, low essential fatty acids, low magnesium. These things can be linked to tiredness and fatigue. And also, if you've got a candida overgrowth, your immune system could be very, very low. Therefore, low immune system is usually linked to tiredness and fatigue. Another thing is those digestive issues. Bloatedness. Going to the toilet a lot, not going to the toilet enough. Going to the toilet and it's not a pretty sight when you need to use the toilet brush to get all those splashes out, to go into a bit too much detail. Not being able to focus, your brain fog is all around. You've got even lower energy than normal. You can't sleep, you sleep, and then you're waking up fatigued once again. All these things can link to having some sort of issues going on in your gut. Now, a little bit of inflammation, fine. It's going to be happening in every single person. A little bit of candida, fine. We need a little bit in there, and there's going to be a little bit in there, even in a healthy gut. It's when we get high levels, really, really expanding levels, growing, that causes us an issue. Excess inflammation is going to be giving you issues. Now, if you've got a lifestyle, or you've had a history of having a lot of antibiotics, had high alcohol intakes, high levels of refined carbohydrates and sugars, and you have a low immune system, maybe you're a lady that has had oral contraceptives, and for most of the people that come to work with me, the big marker here is the amount of stress they have been under, chronic levels of stress whilst building their business to really, really high levels for high durations of time. These are things that are gonna cause issues in the gut. Now people look at things say, look, I'm going to get all these nutrients, get my supplements, get my vitamins in, get some prebiotic foods, get some sauerkraut, get some kimchi, get all these different things in there. That 
probably is just like flushing your money down the toilet. If another thing that is going on is you have very low stomach acid, which is needed in order to break the food down and get those nutrients from the food and then via the actual uh, digestive system, get it into the body and into the bloodstream. You can do things in order to fix this. Lower stress levels, sort your nutrition out, sort your exercise regime out, and kill off that candida. You can increase your stomach levels, uh, acid levels. If these are things you need help with, you know where I am. Drop me a message. I've got a brilliant track record at this, and to be honest, I kind of geek out when it comes to autoimmune issues, when it comes to the gut, when it comes to all these different sensitivities, and that's what I've been known for with my success, with entrepreneurs to build up their health to ridiculous levels and show them truly that your body is your business. And once you've got that sustainable body, your business is gonna to go to extreme levels of success. The choice is yours. I look forward to speaking to you.